Jason here, bloodchurch.org, coming to you today. Hope all is going well in your life. Gonna take a little drive down the road today. Call it the daily drive, whatever you want to call it. But God's earth is beautiful to see nature and spring bloom. And we are waiting for our relationship to bloom with the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, when he comes for the whole body of Christ, all of us, every every member that believes on the blood of Jesus Christ for our salvation, he comes to take his bride out of this, this horrible, wicked place. It's only horrible and wicked because of the, uh, the powers, the principalities, the evil ones. And um, soon this world will wax colder and colder, more evil and evil, as uh, we look to to get away to our new home, to ever be with the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And so in these last times, in these last days, you know, what, what are you doing for the Lord? Are you serving the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart? He's the great I am that I am, and we deserve nothing more than to serve Him. Uh, he deserves all our praise. He deserves all the love we can give Him. And think about all the times He has particularly loved you. God Himself sent His Son, which is a part of the Trinity, down as the begotten Son, born of a virgin, showed man how to live great parables and examples walked for 33 and a half years for three years he did a, he did do a earthly ministry trying to convince the, his own people to accept the Messiah and they rejected him the Pharisees of the day the leaders of the day thought that they were above the law I guess better than the law, better than everyone else, and so prideful they couldn't even see the miracles in front of them that Jesus performed. You know, Jesus Jesus performed many health miracles. You know, he probably was considered to be the greatest doctor ever, if you think about it, like only God can do, right? God can cure anything. He raised people from the dead, like Lazarus. He, he made demons leave and depart. He brought eyesight and the ability to walk and so much more so we owe it to him to praise his name these last days I pray for each and every one of you I love each and every one of you on you know, this channel uh, is, is just it's it's smaller but I, I used to have a different channel with you know over 2,000 subs and you know, I'm still praying and hoping that some of those people come back. Not, not for me, you know, not not for me, but for God's sake and for the Lord together. I, you know, I do not monetize this site. I uh, never would, even if I had a million subscribers. Because I believe in giving the word of salvation, and, and I, I, I believe in a church family. Because many of the churches today are, are corrupt and 501c3 entities that frankly, in my opinion, are wolves in sheep's clothing. Frankly, in my opinion, are the apostate church spoke about in the Bible. They don't teach right doctrine. They don't rightly divide. They don't even, at most of the time, use the right Bible, the KJV Bible. And they don't know scripture. They, they preach the same, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, or, or, love, ser or love sermons, or just music and political correctness. The body of Christ needs to be strong in these times and not hearing the wrong doctrine. That's why I do what I do. I want to give you the right doctrine with the right context. Putting verses together where it makes sense and reading the KJV Bible exactly how it reads. And, and that's what I'd like to do on this channel. And I, I, lo I like to love the Lord. And he fills me with the Holy Spirit, and it's him talking through me. It's not my own. So, I, you know, I just want you to know that, um, you know, be strong in the Lord. Put on the whole armor of God. 
put on your put on your helmet of salvation. If you're not saved today, that's the first step. Believe with your heart that the Lord Jesus Christ died on a cross 2,000 years ago, was buried, and three days later rose from the dead, like only God can do. He laid down his life on purpose for you to shed the blood. He, if, he, if, he, if it just would have been to believe upon him, he could have sent a prophet to say, hey, believe believe upon me. If it was just to come down and preach and, and, and then go away, and, and you were supposed to, you know, that was all it was about, then... You could have, he could have just disappeared and went to the God the Father on the right hand instead of dying a bloody mess, death. A very, very gruesome death. The Romans' practice of, of putting people on the cross was very brutal. And um, he chose that death because he needed to forgive us of our sins. Blood in the Old Testament had always been the way to, to wash away the sins with a blood sacrifice. And, and Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice. He paid the ultimate price for his bride as a bridegroom what might be called a dowry right uh, a bride price he paid the ultimate price giving up God's precious blood to forgive you for your sins once saved always saved past present future sins all forgiven when you believe with your heart that Jesus Christ is the Messiah is God and the Son of God and came down to forgive you for your sins put away your pride and accept that free gift because once this dispensation ends, and that will end at the rapture, the time of that salvation will be over. There will be a different time, and it will be a much difficult, much more difficult thing to give up your own life and have your head cut off and deny the beast system and the New World Order and the United Nations system and the mark of the beast and, and the, the, uh, the deception of the Antichrist and the powers that 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 individual that that evil entity will have will deceive could deceive even the elect is what the Bible says. So get saved today. And again, we're looking forward to, to our blessed hope, Titus two thirteen, the soon return of the King, and that's what God the Father wants most: Jesus Christ to reign in Jerusalem with King David, and it'll be. It'll be the time of peace. There'll be no weapons. Weapons will be turned into to plows and to tools to work the fields. And, and, and men and women that are alive during that time, they won't be us, will live a thousand years and have many children until the end of millennial kingdom when things must change once and for all and we'll, and when you're when you're saved as a Christian you, you get filled with the Holy Spirit but you also gain rewards uh, you'll have a mansion built for you in heaven called New Jerusalem and the streets of New Jerusalem are gold transparent gold you can see to the floor you can see through the floor but it'll still be gold color I believe in my heart we'll probably have a glow probably might even be filled with gold or or gold on us and we're going to have a glow much like like Jesus Christ has a glow and we're going to be changed at a blink of an eye at the last trump and we're going to hear our voices being our hear our Lord's voices excuse me call us out into glory and that's going to be a wonderful day and I believe that time is coming soon I don't know the day or the hour I just like to look for the rapture date but I don't know the date I never claim to and I think even if I knew, I don't think I would say it. I don't I don't hundred percent think I would share it. But um, we're gonna be in glory soon, my friends. So I pray for each and every one of you. God bless. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you. May he keep you. And if you are saved already, I pray for you to be blameless at the Bema Seat, at the Judgment Seat of Christ. Love you guys very much. Leave comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. And you can join. You can always go over to uh, bloodchurch.org and um, check out information we have there on different topics as well as, uh, you know, leave a more private message if you just hit the Contact Us button or, or go to my email there you can send me your private individual problems and not have them listed on on youtube comments so that's always available for prayer for supplication 
Uh, if you have a problem in your life, I will listen to you. Um, just, you know, feel free to use that resource. God bless each and every one of you. Amen.